In this instructional video, we'll show you how you can add hours to your field service time. So let's start up my time. And what we're going to do is we're going to show you two ways of doing uh, adding your time. One way is by starting your time whenever you start your time for the day. Uh, note that it notes the date and the time of when you started. You can start and stop your time multiple times during the day. And my time remembers your time in only minute increments. So if I stop my time now, see it doesn't add anything. So you have to at least uh, be out in service one minute before it will record the, your time. My time will allow you to work on your other calls. You can uh, place a return visit with someone, add notes, We can also add publications, whatever we like. The changing your calls or adding return visits has nothing to do with the hours. You can even quit the application and it still remembers that you are out in field service. And hopefully we've given it uh, enough time for just one minute. Oh. One thing to note is that the uh, hours do not show, the hours that you're going to see for the month are going to show up only whenever you have entries in here. Okay, so 751, 749, we should be able to see our one minute. Okay, there we go. So you can do this throughout the day if you want to stop your time when you go on a break. Uh, and then restart it again after you get off break, that's fine. You'll have multiple entries here for the day. You can also, to add time, you can click on this plus button just like in any other application on the iPhone or even the contacts application allows you to do this kind of thing. Where you can select the day and the time. Let's say we went out for early morning service. We started about 7 o'clock and we were out for 5 hours that day. So notice uh, the time here, an entry gets put in here. These entries get put in and date order. So if we add uh, an entry for July, you'll see that it gets sorted in date order here. Now if you made a mistake, you can just click on the entry and go change whatever it uh, is supposed to be. And if you want to delete entries that you did by mistake, you can hit the delete control and delete. And notice your statistics shows you uh, your hours there. So five hours and 56 minutes plus one minute, there's your five hours and 57 minutes. All the totals get added up for the service year and get displayed for that particular service year. Another thing to note is when you're at the end of the month and you're wanting to turn in your field service time, notice this little disclosure icon right here. You can click on your hours and you can either move the 57 minutes to the next month or you can just round up to six hours. When you move the uh, 57 minutes to the next month, you'll see that that 57 minutes ends up showing up in the next month there in September and not in August. Anyway, there you go. There's uh, how you can manage your hours in my time.